Transport Minister Figen Mbalula will today unveil a new phase of the taxi recapitalization program. Let's cross live now to our reporter Anina Peels, who's uh, tracking that story. Anina, very good morning to you. Uh, this is the second phase of this uh, um, um, program. What are taxi operators hoping will come out of it? Good morning, Paul. Uh, yes, actually, this is a continuation of the recapitalization program. Um, as you may know, that since 26, 2006, um, more than 70,000 unworthy, uh, unroadworthy taxis have been taken off the road. And this is part of government's plan and also a message to, to, to the public to say that, you know, government is helping to make the roads safer. Uh, yesterday, we reported on a horrific accident that happened on Sunday, a taxi accident in which 10 people died. Um, this is part of those plans to, to, make, to to stop those accidents and prevent them from happening. So, so what's happening here today is uh, this is going to be a demonstration of what happens to the taxis when they are brought in um, and how they are, you know, when, when they are seized here. But this is... Uh, Taxi drivers and owners can actually bring their taxis to this depot. As you may see, we're standing on a big depot area that's actually completely designated just for the um, confiscation of, of, of um, unroadworthy vehicles. So you as a taxi driver or as an owner can bring your taxi here. The government then in return for that gives you 124,000 rand, uh, which you can use to put on as a deposit uh, for a new taxi, uh, to start a new taxi business, or you can take that money and exit the industry. But as you may know, that this is the livelihood of many people in South Africa. So this is a, um, an idea to get better taxis, new taxis on the road so, so that we have less accidents. Um, and it's exciting, for, I'm actually quite excited, excited to see, and I think the viewers can be too, uh, to see actually the process of how, what it looks like when a taxi gets scratched, they're crashed up like a, like a tin, like a, like a Coke tin, you know what I mean, Paul? It really does sound exciting, Anina. Um, talk us through some of the concerns. I know that uh, throughout this process, uh, taxi operators have raised concerns. You speak about about 120,000 rand that will be given as an allowance. And uh, what are taxi operators, how are they responding to that allowance? Um, well, unfortunately, I cannot comment on that yet because the taxi drivers have not arrived. There are not a lot of taxi drivers around. It's only government that is here. Um, the Kilian Balula, Minister of Transport, have just, has just arrived himself and we're waiting on the MEC. Uh, what we may do later is to go and speak to taxi drivers in the field and ask them, you know, how this process affects them. Um, but I think uh, this is also part, to just mention, um, it's part of a bigger program of government and Sintaka and all the taxi associations working together um, to, re, to, to basically refurbish or, or re-establish or re, uh, redo the whole taxi industry. Um, there will be a taxi uh, academy that will be that will be coming um, soon uh, to to Gauteng, um, where uh, government uh, is investing in actually training tax, taxi drivers specifically um, to to be able to to you know keep the roads safe. Um, and this will be an academy that will focus specifically on taxis and taxi drivers. Um, the second thing that they are going to do is get all the unroadworthy unroad taxis off off um, off. And then there might be an app later, uh, which and, and, a, and a card that they mentioned at the taxi association meeting, that uh, commuters might have a card that can give them access to taxis, trains, um, and that kind of thing to enhance the, the use of public transport overall and to keep the roads safe. Those sound like a really fantastic plans to rehaul the taxi industry, the very controversial uh, taxi industry in South Africa. Let's go back to your excitement, Nina. You talk us through the crunching process that you're looking forward to in a short bit. In terms of numbers, how many taxis are lined up for this process today? Well, in that case, I'm just going to ask my colleague Luanda to just pan a bit for you um, behind me because they, on, on this depot specifically here where we are now in this field, uh, there's about 200 taxis that have been brought in by, by taxi drivers um, and, and which will be confiscated. As you can see in the back there, um, I'm not sure if you can see that on camera, but there in the back is the crash taxis, what it will look like after it has been crashed. Um, and then to the left where uh, my colleague will be panning for you um, is all the taxis, all the taxis lined up. Now, I don't know if the minister's going to have time to, to be here for the crashing of all those taxis and also if we're going to be here for all that. But at least we're going to show you the one behind me. Um, there's a blue taxi. You'll see the one. This is probably going to be used as an example for today. Um, this is the taxi that's been com declared completely unroadworthy, unsafe, um, as, as, as the MEC of Transport, um, Mama Bolo, refers to it as human coffins. And this is a, sp a specific example of a human coffin. And we will be seeing 
thinking, oh, this is confiscated today. So at least we'll be able to give you one example of what it looks like, the process, just, you know, and I think that makes for, for nice television viewing. So that's something for the viewers to look forward to today. Fantastic. Thank you so much uh, for that. Our reporter Nina Pins there just uh, looking forward to a process that will declare our roads safer just uh, by removing several unroadworthy uh, what uh, uh, my colleague refers to as a human uh, coffin off the road.